and you're one of those people who understand the financial world. You come from that world. You you work in that. Uh, so what is? Can you say what is really happening with the world right now? What is your, like, you know, in a nutshell, what is your prediction? Uh, is there really an opportunity for a, for a new world in the economic sense as well? Because this is something that a lot of people are worried about. How do you see this? Yeah, for, absolutely. Um, first of all, um, there was a great opportunity when the stock exchange fell. <laughs> There's really good opportunity to get rich there. Um, so it's going to bring about a new industrial revolution. I like to call it a social revolution. We've been always looking at our history and thinking of thinking of things as industrial revolution. <clears throat> but actually, the fifth industrial revolution now people are imagining to themselves is going to be a social revolution. Actually, every industrial revolution was a social revolution. We just like to call it an industrial revolution. But it's been mm. a, a, a switch in societal uh, behavioral patterns, the way we live. And that's what really because it changed the way we do things, they call it an industrial revolution because that we've changed doing things. You know, we've, we've gone from one mode to another to do things. So this is going to be our fifth industrial revolution and it's going to be a social revolution. So I'm very hopeful in the sense that people will not be left out of, of this new change. Uh, and we're all going to be entering a circular economy because um, before even this crash we could see in society um, a concern more for a circular society so without even the, this bad um, you know the, the, the crashes in the stock exchange the, the virus and everything we could already see in the past um, decade that you know humanity was moving towards minimalism in western societies it was already like cooking in the background and it just needed this little trigger to kind of open the floodgates so that we could you know push this change through and i think that's what we're really going through uh, and as with any birth of a new state we're going to have some you know bumps along the way so we're going to have some you know bad pains along the way but i think um, humanity is also smart enough to kind of mold itself now into a into a better future, um, especially with this moment of contemplation um, about you know what we're living for, what are we really doing all day, what are we running around, and so on. 